Hi, my name is Dustin Liu and today I will be presenting on Vietnamese American culture. At the climax of the Vietnam War in 1975, fear of persecution resonated throughout South Vietnamese residents, causing a mass exodus of Vietnamese people who decided their best option was to flee to the United States, bringing their culture with them. Vietnamese American culture is the product of this influx of Vietnamese immigrants and affects the greater American culture through the creation of prominent areas where they practice their culture, how they dominate markets with their family-owned businesses, and establish traditional values into the next generation. Vietnamese American culture is the product of traditional Vietnamese culture entering and interacting with American culture through these Vietnamese immigrants. Much of the food, customs, practices, and values of Vietnamese American culture can be traced back to traditional Vietnamese culture, but what differentiates it from the traditional culture is the influence of American ideals and customs. All of the citations I will be referencing in this presentation can be seen on my Works Cited page, featuring Lulu Garcia Navarro's article, How Vietnamese Americans Took Over the Nails Business, a documentary which was written on NPR, a publicly funded nonprofit media organization, and features many interviews with primary sources. Another article I found is called Creating a Sense of Place, The Vietnamese Americans and Little Saigon by Sanjoy M and his colleagues, which is a published article in the Journal of Environmental Psychology. I also include on my reference page my core text, The Refugees, which is written by Pulitzer Prize winning author and professor Viet Tan Nguyen. I also reference the article Vietnamese Immigration and Its Culinary Influence on the United States by Gene Trin, where he interviews actual Vietnamese restaurant owners and chefs for his information. And the article is written on KCET, which is affiliated with PBS and is very credible. Now, for the history of Vietnamese American culture. Vietnamese American culture originated from the Vietnamese immigrants that fled Vietnam due to the Vietnam War. The first wave of immigrants came towards the beginning of the war and had American connections with jobs. This was my mom's side of the family, and they were able to escape Vietnam early, before the fall of Saigon. After the fall of Saigon, on April 30th, 1975, masses of Vietnamese immigrants started pouring into America and out of Vietnam. Most of these escapees did not have the luxury of buying transportation, so they had to crowd themselves onto boats or smuggle themselves on fishing vessels, hence them being called boat people. Many of these refugees did not think that they were going to survive. Being Buddhist or Roman Catholic, they looked towards their respective deities for luck and to be fortunate enough to make it to land. After much trial and error, many were able to make it to America alive and kept their faith long after as thankfulness for helping them to make it through such hard times. For instance, my dad had been caught 13 times trying to escape Vietnam. Other stories of hardship and struggle similar to my father's are detailed in my core text, The Refugees. One of these stories focuses on a first generation Vietnamese immigrant dealing with the haunting memories of her brother's death. While she was on a boat to America fleeing Vietnam, a band of Vietnamese pirates attacked and killed her brother right in front of her, traumatizing her for life. She vividly describes the struggles, losses, and hardships for those who attempted to escape Vietnam during or after the Vietnam War, as well as reflects on how those experiences shaped what Vietnamese immigrants like herself envisioned and pursued if they were actually able to reach the United States securely. Another story in this book centers on an immigrant family's experiences as Vietnamese Americans after emigrating from Vietnam. This story takes the perspective of a boy who works at his family's convenience store, and the reader is exposed to what soon would become the typical Vietnamese American family archetype. Within his Vietnamese American household, his family has an unwavering commitment to Roman Catholicism. It is also explained by the characters in the story that they live in the developing Little Saigon, which is an example of how Vietnamese American culture affects the greater American culture. Two ways Vietnamese American culture affects greater American culture is through its products, which are food and clothing, as well as its practices regarding businesses and the ethnic enclave of Little Saigon. In Jean Trin's article, Vietnamese Immigration and its Culinary Influence on the United States, the stories of Vietnamese immigrants and their creation of family-owned restaurants serving traditional Vietnamese food assisted in the creation of Vietnamese American culture, drawing Vietnamese Americans closer together forming communities and cementing the sights, smells, and flavors of Vietnamese cuisine into the vast American experience. The text follows the stories of Vietnamese American restaurant owners who popularize different cultural cuisines in their communities or even in the greater American pop culture. As immigrants unfamiliar with American society, restaurants were a great way of starting a family business and making other immigrants feel at home 
by serving traditional Vietnamese food. Restaurants made by Vietnamese Americans introduce Vietnamese food to American cities nationwide. One Vietnamese food that has been popularized in American culture is pho, a Vietnamese soup that can now be found at restaurants everywhere. Within different communities, different Vietnamese foods have been popular based on the local diet. As time has progressed, American foods have also been given Vietnamese-inspired flavors. One instance of this is New Orleans crawfish with a Vietnamese twist. The combination of distinctly Vietnamese and American cooking styles and methods is what makes Vietnamese American food unique. Also, the popular condiment, sriracha, is Vietnamese as well. The main cuisine served in my household while growing up was Vietnamese American food. Even when I live in Santa Clarita, a place with not many Vietnamese Americans, I managed by chance to live down the street from a restaurant that serves pho. My core text also describes how many Vietnamese American immigrants would still continue to eat their food when in America and open restaurants as family businesses even though just immigrating from Vietnam. Have you ever tried Vietnamese food or ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? They're becoming ever more prominent. Another product of Vietnamese American culture is Vietnamese traditional clothing, which is usually worn in special occasions or in formal to semi-formal events. Originally, traditional Vietnamese clothing was more like Chinese clothing. However, as the country became more individualized and became independent from China, they started to develop their own fashion. This style changed dramatically when they were imperialized by the French. As the 20th century approached, the Vietnamese were able to use the bases of French and Chinese clothing in order to create their own style, maintaining the loose pant-like bottoms of both the sleeves and the pants in combination with the influence of Western manufacturing and style. and added more intricate and beautiful designs onto their clothing, bringing us to what Vietnamese American clothing looks like today. In Vietnamese American culture, traditional Vietnamese clothing is often saved to wear on special occasions, such as to funerals or to weddings. Traditional Vietnamese clothing is worn by both genders as well, and consists of silk shirts or dresses and different headpieces. Traditional Vietnamese clothing will definitely be worn during special holidays such as Lunar New Year. Many Vietnamese Americans have a deep connection with Roman Catholicism, and so many celebrate Christmas as well as the Lunar New Year, which is the celebration of the beginning of a new year on the traditional Chinese calendar, or lunar calendar as it's known. The tradition on Christmas is to go to church with family and having a family gathering afterwards celebrating with gifts. Foods that you would see in a Vietnamese American household on Christmas include pecking duck and lobster with noodles. However, in Vietnamese American culture, the Lunar New Year, or Tet in Vietnamese, is a much bigger deal than Christmas. On this holiday, red envelopes, such as this one, are given as gifts instead of presents like on Christmas. There's usually a huge festival which includes firecrackers and lanterns, and pagoda-themed decorations. One custom you may recognize is the traditional dragon dance, which Vietnamese American culture takes from Chinese culture. Vietnamese American culture not only affects the greater American culture through its food, clothes, and celebrations, but also through its businesses and the ethnic enclave known as Little Saigon. In Lulu Garcia Navarro's article, How Vietnamese Americans Took Over the Nail Business, she walks the reader through how Vietnamese entrepreneurs went on to dominate the nail salon business in America, creating an $8 billion industry through a combined effort with African American women. After escaping the Vietnam War, many Vietnamese immigrants wanted to start a family business in America. In Vietnamese American culture, having a family-owned business to pass on to your kids is very honorable and shops that have been owned by multiple generations of family are held in high esteem by the community. After immigrating to America, Vietnamese Americans almost immediately founded restaurants, grocery stores, and nail salons. In 1975, a famous actor named Tippi Hendren brought her personal manicurist to teach a group of 20 Vietnamese women in a California refugee camp how to do nails. Tippi's encounter with the Vietnamese refugees was filmed and gained a significant amount of attention, which led to many Vietnamese American women becoming interested in starting nail salons. The first nail salons owned by Vietnamese American women were located in lower class neighborhoods and were often co-owned by African American women and the combined efforts of these women led to the creation of many nail salons. The fondness Vietnamese Americans have to nail salons relate to me because my aunt and uncle own a nail salon. Throughout elementary school, my parents would take my sister and I to my aunt and uncle's nail salon whenever my parents would leave on vacation. 
My aunt and uncle are passing down their nail salon to their daughters to continue the family business, something many Vietnamese Americans hope to do. Many Vietnamese Americans also own businesses in Little Saigon. In an article titled Creating a Sense of Place, the Vietnamese Americans and Little Saigon, Sanjoy M and his colleagues examined the significance of an ethnic enclave known as Little Saigon within Vietnamese American culture, and how taking elements of their home country and making it a part of American society allows for Vietnamese Americans to remain connected to the places they left behind, as well as be incorporated into American culture. The combination of the surrounding American cultural expectations and the Vietnamese way of life within this locale is where Vietnamese American culture flourishes. Since many Vietnamese immigrants came to America at the same time, this community was created as a subconscious attempt by Vietnamese Americans to retain what little normalcy they could achieve in their lives. Within Little Saigon, restaurants serve Vietnamese food, supermarkets sell Vietnamese and Asian ingredients, and almost every other business has exclusively Vietnamese-speaking staff which is because most Vietnamese Americans in this area do not speak any English. My core text describes this developing Little Saigon in Orange County through the perspective of its characters, as well as the effects of mass immigration on the surrounding native culture in those same stories. I was also born and raised in this area, so I have a deep personal connection. Another example of how this ethnic enclave has affected greater American culture is the fact that the Fast and the Furious was also filmed in Little Saigon. Recognizable locations include the TNK Food Market, which I visit frequently with my grandmother to buy food, as well as the cultural court of 72 priests, which can be seen in this iconic scene. Vietnamese American culture is the culmination of Vietnamese and American culture, joined together by Vietnamese immigrants in the United States, who created ethnic enclaves to facilitate their culture and spread their culture's products in fashion and food through family-owned businesses. My core text and the sources previously mentioned chronicle the stories of Vietnamese immigrants escaping persecution and from the Vietnam War, arriving in America, illustrating multiple routes taken by the immigrants, which instigated the formation of Vietnamese American culture as we know it today. Vietnamese American culture takes elements from both Vietnamese and American culture and makes a new culture from the combination. While doing the research for this project, there were many moments where I felt pride in being a Vietnamese American and I'm glad that I was able to do this project. Thank you for listening.